What is going on, Dork Daily? It is your resident Delco Dork, Gabe Barrio, back with another video. And if you guys have been watching some of my videos for a long time, or if you know me, you know that I love a good gimmick. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going through some gimmick foods to coincide with the release of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm not going to say it a third time. Uh, Keebler has done some fudge stripe cookies, and we also have a new exclusive Fanta or Fanta, tomato, tomato, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to try these and give you a ranking system on them. So let's do that, shall we? It's showtime. We're going to start with the fudge stripes. And it looks like they did the Oops Oreo treatment, where it's the opposite color of the cookie and the cream. Um, I enjoy fudge stripes. I've always had an issue, though, where it felt like the chocolate was rubbing off on my hands. Um, but I want to see what we're going to get into here. They've got the black and white design here. And I uh, told some co-workers about this. They said, why don't they put some green on it? I don't know how well that would sell if kids saw green on a cookie. But I did walk past a display of Snickers with green filling. So what the hell do I know? But without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So you guys can see. You got your standard fudge stripe, but opposite. Let's give it a taste test. Three hours later. It definitely kind of does taste like an Oops Oreo. That's some good, that's some good like vanilla cream. I really enjoy it. Um, it does have the consistency of what an Oreo cookie would be. I'm not the hugest fan of them. I take, I think they're at their best when they're bits on ice cream, but I think this is still a pretty solid cookie. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to eat the whole package. You know, I try to lay off. I'm trying to do better with junk food. Not that this is helping either, but we'll get into that in a second. Pretty solid. Eight out of ten. All right. So we've got our Fanta here. Fanta, whatever you want to call it. This is Haunted Apple. And they have our titular ghostess with the mostess. On the label. Now they've done other characters from the upcoming movie on labels. I haven't seen them on bottles, but I've definitely seen them on cans. And I don't know about you guys, but there's not a lot of places around me that sell individual cans of soda. So I'm not going to go to the trouble of getting all these uh, Fanta cans with characters on them. It's very reminiscent, if some of you guys remember. I, I know I'm pretty old, but when Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace came out, Pepsi products had the characters all over them. I was collecting those like crazy. Hell, they've even done them recently with Coke products where they had Marvel characters on. But getting back to this, I'm only going to try the Haunted Apple because the rest of the flavors are standard flavors that we've had before, even though I do like their pineapple. Um, I actually bought a second bottle and I gave it to some coworkers to try. I wanted to try this for you guys for camera, but they had a consensus. Uh, one said that it tastes like a sparkling apple cider. The other two said it would taste like cough medicine. I'll be the judge of this bottle because I'm going to try it and we'll see how my taste buds take to it because I really like apple flavored pretty much anything. So let's get into it. It tastes like a sparkling apple cider. And I don't think, I think that's an acquired taste for a lot of people. Not so much for me. It's solid enough. I don't know if I'll keep buying bottles of this. I don't know how much longer they're going to last on shelves. Um, I especially like the gimmick. Um, you don't get a lot of green sodas straight up. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's, I enjoy it. Um, it's something I can't have all the time. I got to be in the mood for this. And I'm glad that it falls right around the corner because this is sitting on the taste buds because it feels very seasonal. Uh, if you guys like sparkling apple cider, I would give it a try, but I don't think this is going to be for everyone because, you know, there is that consensus. Cough medicine, I don't think it tastes like that, but pretty solid. I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Not for everybody, but for me. So that's it for these snacks, guys. What did you think of this video? Are you going to try these snacks? And are you going to go see the new uh, movie? 
let me know in the comments down below and be on the lookout for my out of theater reaction video. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. From Dork Daily, I'm Gabriel Barrio, and I'll see you guys next time.